High and Flint Engel with Furniture Today. We're at the High Point Furniture Market with Bruce Dunning. He's president of AMI Furniture Leaders. It's a uh, buying group I haven't had the pleasure of knowing much about yet, but we're, we're about to learn more right now. So Bruce, thanks for doing this. And tell me a little bit about your buying group, where you're based, how many members. Clint, thank you for, for doing this. Uh, we, we, you probably haven't heard of us very much because we're pretty quiet. We kind of stay out there. We're, in, we're based in Montana and uh, that's where we originally started was in the Montana area. Then we merged into Wyoming and North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho, and uh, Washington, Oregon, and a few stores in Alaska. And so we're kind of smaller dealers and in a remote area, and so we've been pretty quiet over the years. Okay, how many dealers? I think right now we're stockholder owned, and I think we have 65 actual stockholders. Okay. And, 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 and eight, they, so the stockholders are the dealers? They are the dealers. And, and some of them have multiple stores and stuff, so we don't get into how many stores we have out there as much as okay. we do that the dealers and stuff. And probably the real difference between us and everybody else is that we're a central build buying. Group. Tell me, that, what's the difference? With um, you know, we thought at the very beginning of time that when you went to a manufacturer and you had dealers that were doing 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, that if we could go to them and say it's central build to us, you only have to get credit from us, or we pay all the bills and we're a million dollar account, that we could get better benefits than the smaller dealers could and be recognized better. Okay, and so, and has it worked out? I mean, the, the You know, the, it's one of these things that you go to a space or you go into one of the markets and you hate to pick on anybody, but, but if you say you're from Montana and you have a, a $5,000 account, everybody tries to run away from you. If you're a million dollar <laughs> account, they kind of run at you. And, and so we think we've given those dealers a name and a face and, and something to, that they're known when they walk into some place that they say they're an AMI member, they, they get treated better than they do if they were just a member in that small community in Wyoming okay. or something. And we were talking a little bit before off camera were you about how they how you have uh, evolved over time that when you started in 1972, it was AMI, it was stood for appliance. Yes, it was appliance merchandisers and that's what we were doing was buying bulk of uh, appliances of calvinators and refrigerators and dishwashers and and those type of things, and then bulk of VCRs from Japan and stuff, and then we would spread them out to all of our dealers. And that hasn't changed. That's what we still do. We don't do appliance electronics anymore, but we now do containers and containers of furniture from off seas, and, and mostly for dealers that can't buy a full container of furniture on their own. Okay. It's, it's we're making them a big buyer in a small market. So when so I, I recently did oh. a buying group report, and I, I noticed a lot of the buying groups have almost become more marketing groups, or where the, and they've been focusing on building this digital toolbox for their members to give them tools to uh, to uh, compete against online and bigger companies. Is that is that a focus for you know? It really isn't. We uh, we don't have the staff for it for one thing, but and I do think that those other groups that are doing that, the nationwide brand sources, I think that. They do an awesome job of that in making these dealers aware of those problems. And we're more in markets that don't need as much help with that. We need a lot of help in buying furniture. So, so we partner with manufacturers and everything else and dealer and, and vendors that, that we really buy furniture. We get the furniture to the dealers and, and that type so of stuff. So it's a true buying group for buying power. That's sake. what we like to call ourselves is really a buying group where we buy furniture and help the, the, the smaller dealers survive and get this product from quantities that they can't buy normally on their own. Who's your biggest, best uh, supplier? Well, I, I really hate to admit <laughs> this, Clint. Ashley's our largest vendor, but but uh, we do a lot of business with Cheers, a lot of business with A America and the Intercons, and, and Sunny Design is one of our largest also, where we do buy a lot of containers from them and bring them in and spread them out to all of our dealers. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Clint, thank, thank you. you.